I am Anil Kumar. We will explore geometric sequence in this particular video and try to understand how to apply the general formula for the nth term in geometric sequence. The question here is find Tn and T37 that means nth term general formula and 37th term of a geometric sequence with T4 equals to 24 and T7 equals to 192. As you know, the general formula in a geometric series is the nth term is equals to the first term A times R to the power of N minus 1, where R is the ratio by which each term in the geometric sequence is multiplied. Right? So that's the formula which we're going to use to solve this question. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now this also happens to be one of the first questions in, in a test paper, right? So what we are really doing is uh, selecting few questions from the test papers and working them out. Okay, so let's begin using the formula. We know the fourth and the seventh term. So T4 can be written as replacing n by 4, right? A r to the power of 4 minus 1, which is, we'll write T4 as 24. So we can write 24 equals to A r q, right? So 1 less than 4. Similarly, we can write what T7 is. T7 is equals to A r to the power of 7 minus 1, that is 192 equals to a r to the power of 6. So from the given information, we have two equations. We need to solve for two equations, two variables. One is a, the other one is r for us, correct? Which we can do it. So let's use these two equations and solve. First equation is 24 equals to a to r to the power of 3. The second one is 192 equals to a times r to the power of 6. Now to solve this, what we can do is we can divide equation 2 by equation 1, correct? So we are going to do that. We are going to divide this equation by that and see what happens at this stage. We get 192 divided by 24 on the left side and on the right side we get a r to the power of 6 divided by a r cubed. Now we can simplify this a bit. A and A gets cancelled, correct? So, so it really helps to divide. You get rid of one of the variables. 192 divided by 24 is equals to 8. So I could write this as 8 equals to r to the power of 6 minus 3. That is cube, right? Now r is cube root of 8. So r is cube root of 8, which you know is 2. So r is 2 for us. Since we have found r, we can actually find n also, correct? So, I mean, general term tn, right? Now, since we have found r, let us find a. That is what is remaining for us. So we'll call this as equation 3. So we'll use equation 3 and 2. So that is to say, we will substitute the value of r, so we'll substitute 3 in equation 1, let us say, and find a. So what we have here is 24 equals to a times r cube. r is 2 for us, right? So 2 cube, that is what we have, which is 8. So a is 24 divided by 8, and that is also equal to 3 for us. So a is also 3. Now, we know both A and R. So we know A is equals to 3 and R is also equals to 3. Now we can again apply this formula, write down the general term first. So what is Tn equals to? Tn equals to A, which is 3, R, which is again 3, to the power of n minus 1. So that becomes the general term. So we have found the first one. The second one is 37th term. So T37, replace N with 37, will be equal to 3 times 3 to the power of 
37 minus 1 which is 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 37 minus 1 is 36 right so we can use the calculator which in fact is also 3 to the power of 37 so we can say 3 exponent 37 equals to and we get one answer which is 4.5028 times 10 to the power of 17 right so it's a huge term and that is what it is correct so that is how you can find the first you need to find the first term and r the ratio and then you can find both general formula and any other term. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.